Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Ranking Friday video. Every single Friday on my channel, we rank something on my channel. Lately, typically, always, it's been makeup, but I'm not opposed to ranking something other than makeup. I do plan to rank all of the self-tanning products that I've tried at some point, so that will be coming, but if you guys have any other ideas on things you would like to see me rank on a Friday afternoon, do let me know in the comments. But today I'll be ranking my entire bronzer collection, including all of my powder bronzers, as well as my cream bronzers, and all my contour products. I did also do a separate cream uh, bronzer, blush, and highlight swatch slash ranking video, which I'll leave linked down below with my ranking makeup playlist in case you're interested in checking any of that out but i am ranking all of my powder and cream bronzers today so every bronzing slash contouring product in my collection will be ranked today i have a lot to get through and i've had two glasses of wine so my cheeks were already rosy and i feel like they're super rosy now and i'm starting to feel quite warm so would love to get through this so that I can go drink more wine and watch more Real Housewives. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I would rank all of the bronzing products in my collection, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content or you just like chit-chatting about some makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. I do post four videos a week and I would love to have you subscribe. Other than that, let's get into the video. Okay, I added some gloss to make myself look a little bit more put together, but honestly, I have no idea how the makeup is looking at this point. And if you're wondering, no, it is not five o'clock yet, but I, not a wine drinker, and I'm dabbling with this idea of wine drunk that everyone talks about being so great, so don't judge me. Anyway, if I was sober, which I'm not 100%, I couldn't count from backwards all the way up to one, so why would I put that pressure on myself under the influence of a couple glasses of wine to count backwards from however many bronzers I have to one? I'm going to put the number on the screen for how we're ranking this. But let's start with my least favorite bronzer. I will just note quickly, I do have some products that I do already know I will be decluttering, but because I still have them in my collection and have not yet officially decluttered them, I am going to rank them today. My least favorite bronzing slash contouring product currently in my collection is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber. I will do my best to insert swatch clips so you can see me rank all of these kind of side by side. But this one, as I mentioned in my cream and liquid product video, is just way too like ashy for me and it just is not the correct tone for me so i don't love this and on top of that it is a stiffer formula that you kind of really have to warm up it's not the easiest to blend out and it's just not a product that i enjoy using so for that reason i had to rank this one in last place then this is a new product to my collection this is the elf putty bronzer and this is just not really my cup of tea I have mine in the shade Tan Lines, and this is a, just a really, really, really sheer product, and I really struggle to find a good way to apply this. I don't love to put this on my finger and then tap this out because I just feel like it wears away into nothing. I really can't do a brush because I feel like it doesn't pick up on a brush well. I don't like it on a beauty sponge. I just don't like the way that this applies. It doesn't have a good lasting time, and it's super, super sheer, which is just not really what I'm looking for from my bronzing products i like a bronzed look so for that reason this one had to come in towards the end this is another new bronzer to my collection this year and i was really hoping to love this i feel like i saw really good reviews on this but i just did not love this one from lys i have mine in the shade harmony which is the medium shade i want to say they have three different shades and this is the middle shade i just found that this was i don't want to say it's like dry to the touch because it's really not uh, but it's just p more powdery and I just felt like I never got a great blend with this. I didn't feel like, I felt like it blended a little bit patchily and I just didn't ever feel like I got like a smooth application. I just never loved the way my bronzer looked when reaching for this. And it took me a while to finally come to terms with that. This is a product I've had in my collection for a while that I feel like I just kept testing and kept testing and kept texting because I felt like I felt like I should like this product, but eventually I finally was just like, you know what? This just is not for me and not a favorite of mine from LYS. Next up, I have this bronzer from L'Oreal. It's their True Matte Lumi Bronzet in the shade 1 Light. This is like a satin 
almost shimmery sort of finish but it's like a cool tone almost contour product and i think that's why i don't like this product i do like a glowier cheek but because this is more cool toned it just doesn't look right having the finish that it does if this was a matte product maybe i would like it more but this was in my chopping block and i have decided that i will be decluttering this just because it's not my favorite tone it's not my favorite finish for the tone and I just finally had to tell myself like this is just not a product for you anytime I use this there's so many other bronzers I would rather be using so that's why this one is coming close to the bottom next up is a product that I do like it's just a very specific there's this very specific time and place for this product this is the tower 28 bronzino in the shade west coast this is a shimmery cream bronzer with a red toned sort of finish to it so for those reasons, I have to be very careful with the placement of this product as well as the time of year that I use this product. It's just not always my favorite. Um, and for that reason, I had to rank this one closer to the bottom. I do go into detail more on this product in my cream and liquid bronzer video. So check that one out if you're looking for more information. I don't want this video to be like forever and a year long. So I'm going to try and be as quick as possible with some of these products that I've already ranked in another video or already chatted about in another video. So another cream product is the Persona bronzing stick. I have mine in the shade Dune and I do like this product. I think it's really beginner friendly in that it's very creamy and easy to blend out. My only problem with this is there are times that I've used this that it has picked up my foundation if I use this over foundation. If I'm doing a reverse foundation sort of look where I put my cream and liquid products down and then I go over it with a really sheer coverage foundation, love it that way. I think it looks really good. Or if I'm spot concealing with a concealer and then just trying to add a little bit of warmth to the skin. So I'm not even using foundation necessarily that day. This is a product I reach for because it's very user friendly in that it blends out so easily. I've just had a couple of foundations that I have mixed this with specifically I'm thinking of the Too Faced Peach Perfect where it really just like picked up or just like blended very oddly on my cheeks. So for that reason, I just felt like I could not rank this one higher. It's not something I would repurchase when I finish. So I had to take those things into consideration when purchasing. I don't think it's a bad product. I still like it and I feel like I could see myself using this up, especially because I haven't had this for that long. And I've already used a significant amount considering like the dome used to be over top of this, but I just don't see this being something I'm going to fall in love with, fall in love with to the point that I want to repurchase when I finish it. Next product is kind of a sad moment for me because this used to be like my favorite bronzer, but the Cover Effects Bronzing Duo in the shade Sunkiss Bronze is just a product that I've kind of fallen out of love with. This is something that really only works for me when I have a self tan. It's really pigmented and I've been preferring something that's a little bit more buildable. I also just never reach for this shimmery side, even as I've been preferring a glowier cheek. I don't love mixing these two. It's just not my favorite combination. So I really only reach into this for the shade. And there's just so many other bronzers that I've come to love over this one. Even bronzers that I had in my collection that I used to love this more than other bronzers. I've just, my mind set in the way that I prefer my bronzers to work nowadays in that I prefer them to be more buildable has shifted so significantly. So this just is not a favorite for me anymore. Next up, I have this one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Tequila Tan. This is a very firmly pressed dryer formula so for that reason that's why i'm kind of ranking this a little bit lower this is something i don't necessarily i couldn't necessarily see myself finishing this up to completion so this might be something i end up decluttering in the future it's just not my favorite formula it doesn't look bad by any means but again it is just a little bit drier and just I just have other formulas that I prefer so much more than this one. So that's why this one is ranking towards the bottom. Then I have this one from Lawless Beauty. This is the lighter of the two shades. Mine never even came with the sticker. This one just does not blend well. It's pigmented but patchy and I just do not love it. I feel like I have to spend extra time blending when I use this product. I've considered decluttering this, but then there's another part of me that like really wants to pan and use this up. I don't know what it is because I was so excited to purchase this and I just did not love it. It is not the easiest to blend. It does not look the best on my skin, so I could not rank this one any higher. Next up, I have this duo from Patrick Ta, and this is something if I had purchased the 
next shade up i could see this ranking higher but this is really just a shade thing for me so i have my duo in the shade she's statuesque which is the lightest of i believe the three options you get a contour and a bronzing product i definitely prefer the bronzer in here to the contour i just don't love contouring that much i've come to find uh, so I've considered purchasing this in the medium shade, but then there's that part of me that's like, you don't even like to contour. It's so like, why? Um, I think it's a really nice product. Both perform beautifully. Like I would recommend this product if you're thinking about it. I just don't get a ton of use out of the contouring product. And then I don't think to reach for this just for the bronzer. So that's why I had to rank this one lower. Then I have my Danessa Myricks uh, Power Bronzer Matte Bronzing and Shaping Cream. This I really like. I think it's a really nice formula. It's just a more warm tone bronzer. And usually I prefer a more neutral bronzer rather rather than like a really warm bronzer. It's very easy to work with. If you're new to cream products, you're dabbling in cream products, I would recommend this formula because it's no matter how you use this, whether it be your finger, a brush, or a beauty sponge, it's gonna blend out beautifully. It's a really easy formula to work with. It really just came down to shade and why I'm ranking this one. Still, I think kind of on the lower end of the spectrum in this entire ranking video. Next up I have this powder bronzer from e.l.f. I do think this is a nice bronzer. I just never get excited to reach for it. So that's why I'm ranking this one kind of, we're kind of getting to the middle now. This is the Forever Sun Kissed bronzer. Very affordable, really nice, really smooth, really blendable. I just don't get excited to reach for this and I don't know why. I don't know if it's a shade thing, even though I feel like the shade works really nicely. Really nice drugstore bronzer option. Uh, I just get so much more excited to reach for all of my other bronzers over this one. So I just couldn't, in my, like, in good faith, uh, rank this one any higher. Then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I hope I'm ranking my cream bronzers, cream and liquid bronzers, the same way I rank them in my cream and liquid ranking video i think i am it's like always hard when you lay things out and you're like oh how do i really want to rank these and i feel like i overthink it so if you guys are like wait i thought just know i've had a couple of glasses of wine and this is wine stuff this is how i want to rank these but i have my contour wand i like this i think it's a good product i would not repurchase this just because I have so many other cream and liquids to get through. I still think this is beautiful. I love the shade in that it's pretty neutral, so it's not like a super cool toned contour product. And if I am contouring, I will reach for this just because it's very easy to blend. It's very seamless. It's super, like you don't even have to think about it. It's really easy. I just don't feel like I need this in the future, so I wouldn't repurchase it, and that's kind of why I'm ranking it in the middle of the pack. Then I have my ColourPop Soul Body Bronzer, and for me, this is really just a shade thing. It's just a little bit lighter than I prefer right now, as I am like really soft tan, but this is a really nice, really creamy, really easy to work with formula. Again, if you're a beginner in cream products, this is a product I would recommend to you. You get a ton of product, it is more affordable, it's really easy to work with. So for me, it just really comes down to shade in this part of the ranking and that is why I'm kind of ranking this one in the middle. Next up I have my Ilia bronzer in the shade Drawn In. This is their Night Light Bronzing Powder. I thought I was going to absolutely adore this and while I do think this is a good bronzer it's not one that I feel so excited about that I will be repurchasing so that's why I'm ranking it where I'm ranking. A lot of the other bronzers from here on out I really really love and could see myself repurchasing and I was just starting like as I got to this point of the video I was really trying to think for okay what do you get the most excited to reach for and really tried to rank them based on like my excitement to reach for them so I still think this is a good bronzer I think it's a really nice formula it's definitely more buildable which I've been preferring but I just get so much more excited to reach for my other bronzers over this. So that's why I had to rank this one where it's at. Next, I have my NARS Sunwashed Bronzer in Laguna. So there is the original Laguna bronzer and then there's the Sunwashed version. The Sunwashed version is a more buildable version. And I always think to myself that I'm like ready to declutter this bronzer and then I pull it out to use it one last time and I end up falling back in love with this. And I've like I said, been really loving a more buildable bronzer. So I really love this shade. I love that you can build this and you really can't go too heavy handed. It just looks like a beautiful sun washed bronze to the skin and it's really firmly pressed. So mine fell and I broke 
the little corner out of this that's why i have this little pan here but i've used this so much and i don't even really have like a dip to show so in terms of like bang for your buck even though it's a lot of money up front it's gonna take you forever to finish this bronzer so i love this one from nars next up i have my mark jacobs tantastic bronzer and this used to be an absolute favorite of mine but i've been working on panning this and i'm really just getting like sick of this i'm almost getting like mark jacobs fantastic burnout so maybe if i was ranking this like before i had it in a project i would have ranked it higher but i've been using this so much and i'm just like bored of this it's a really nice bronzer in that it is really neutral and it's also buildable so it's hard like hard to go super heavy handed it doesn't end up looking like a dorito on your skin because it's not a super warm tone bronzer i still think it's a really nice bronzer I've been using this forever, have not hit pan, super discouraged by that, but also paid $50 for this bronzer, so nice to know that I'm getting like my money's worth. I know that this has been on sale. I, I, if this is something you've been eyeing, I would recommend it. It's really nice. It's very seamless. Like you get a really nice seamless blend. There's honestly nothing wrong with this other than the fact that I've just used this so much that I'm kind of bored of this. So that's, it has a disadvantage there for why I'm ranking this more in the middle of my bronzers. Next, I have this liquid bronzer from Iconic London. This is a very sheer bronzer, but also really beautiful for those no makeup makeup days where you want to just add a little bit of a hint of a bronze to the skin. Liquid products can tend to intimidate me just because they're scary to think about blending them out, but this is such an easy product to work with. I would even recommend this to beginners. Again, I talk about this more in my liquid and cream video, so check out that video if you wanna hear more, but I loved this one from Iconic London. And then I have another cream bronzer. I will say I do prefer powder bronzer over cream bronzer. That's why I feel like I have a lot more powder bronzers that are ranking higher than some of my cream and liquids. But the NARS Laguna bronzer, I have mine in the shade Laguna. It is the Sunkissed Bronzing Cream, which was limited edition really pigmented so i feel like it's pretty flexible in the amount of like bronze you're getting there are only two shades though uh but it is super pigmented so be leery of that if you want a more sheer bronze uh i learned my lesson the hard time the first time i used this i was like this is not for me it's two 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 bronze because i went in with a brush and it was a lot but sheared out this is so beautiful it's definitely more of a full coverage cream bronzer too so if you're looking to go if you like the effect of cream products but you like a more full coverage look which you don't always get from cream and liquid products this is a really good option i don't know that you can get this anymore but i do really enjoy this one i would consider this like a product that i really do like everything honestly from like honestly from like that nars laguna bronzer up like i really like these so just keep that in mind going forward. Right above that, I have another cream bronzer. It's my Huda Beauty Tantastic. This is actually really similar to the NARS bronzer in that it is a more full coverage cream. I love this one. I have mine in the shade Fair. I will say this is, again, really pigmented, so be leery of that. You can sheer it out, but you need to use the right tools to do that. But if you're looking for a more full coverage cream product, you will find that in the Huda Beauty Tantor. It's a really nice neutral color in that it's like not too warm and also not too cool. So wanted to mention that as well. Then I have my Tom Ford bronzer. This is the glow bronzer in the shade two Terra. If this was not so expensive, I would have rated this or ranked this higher, but I had to take price into consideration. And this is $75 for something that is literally the same size as the Kosas duos, same size. $75. Absolutely ridiculous. This is beautiful in that it is not matte, but it's also not like super shimmery. It just offers the most beautiful natural glow to the skin. So it's a really nice, like healthy skin, like sun-kissed bronze. So beautiful, but so expensive. So I could not rank this one higher. I didn't realize we're in our top 10. So my Tom Ford was 10. Eight and nine are my last two cream bronzers. So as you can tell, I really do like powder bronzers better. But Milk Makeup, tried and true, really beautiful, easy, beginner friendly. Love the shade, I have mine in the shade Baked. They don't have a lot of shades, so not the greatest shade range. If you can find a shade that works for you, buy the mini, because it'll last you forever. Great product. Go check out my Cream and Liquid video if you wanna hear more, but it's just, it's, it's a solid, just, mm, it's good. And I've used a significant amount of this. I really, my goal is to use this up now, but I still have a lot to go, so 
still it's such a great product coming in at number eight is my last cream slash liquid bronzer it's the Tarte sea breezy bronzer i love this and i didn't realize until a couple of days ago other people don't love this and i'm like what this is so good and so easy to work with i just have mine in the mini i obviously have significant pan i just use a brush going with my brush and then tap it on to my skin i think it gives the most natural looking tan to the skin i love this i can't imagine not loving this so i was sad to hear other people don't love this but this is definitely my favorite cream product cream bronzer in my collection and my number eight in terms of ranking coming in at number seven i have this one from milani this is the silky matte bronzer and i have my mine in the shade two sunkissed this is a really nice neutral bronzer. I feel like I've been saying that kind of a lot. I love a neutral bronzer. I don't like it to be too warm or too cool. I like it to just work whenever I want it to work. And this is a super silky, buttery smooth, very soft formula as well. So you get a really nice seamless blend. And I think it just looks really natural on the skin. I will say this one is a little bit more pigmented. So it's not quite as buildable as some of my other bronzers. But I know that going into using this and I still think it's such a good option, especially for the drugstore. So I had to recommend that. Then coming in at number six, I have my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Into Sun, which I love. Again, a very buttery, smooth, not powdery formula, glides onto the skin. This one is really buildable, which I absolutely love. I've also had this for a couple of years, used it so much, and only have a tiny pan because I use this as an eyeshadow as well. So this is going to last you forever. I feel like it's a really good value for what you're paying. I think it's beautiful, very neutral. I know I've heard a lot of the other shades in the Fenty Sunstalker like powder bronzers can lean warm but this one for me it pulls pretty neutral and i love this one numbers five four three and two are all new bronzers to my collection this year i love trying new bronzers you guys but number five is my vesca beauty bronzer i have mine in the shade kissed by santorini this is such a smooth texture it doesn't even feel like a powder um i'm gonna swatch everything i won't show you my hand swatch because i'm gonna swatch it on my arm it is so smooth so easy to blend very neutral like my my perfect idea of a bronzer shade i want to say there's like seven shade options at least in this line too which i know is not a lot but in terms of bronzer lines i feel like that's more than most and i just think it's a really beautiful formula this is definitely something i will repurchase when i finish so that is my number four and then coming in at sorry that's my number five coming in at number four i have this one from nabla this is the skin bronzing in the shade ambra this is a baked formula so it's again very smooth and i do find this one to be buildable it is not a matte formula it has a really beautiful sheen to the skin so it offers a bit of a glow without being like glowy which i've really really been loving i love the bake formula i love nabla so this is my number four coming in at number three is another glowy bronzer this is from the glowish line by huda beauty it is the soft radiance bronzing powder and i have mine in the shade three tan light again a really smooth formula really 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 beautiful i just love the texture um this is something that swatches really pigmented but on a brush it is really sheer and it really does take building to get pigmentation to this so if you're someone who likes a lot of bronzer you may not love this but i love that this looks like a sun-kissed bronze because it does offer just that soft radiance to it and i think it's beautiful it's quickly become a new favorite for me so i had to mention this as my number three number two this one is even newer but i just knew from like the first few times that i use this this is gonna be a new all-time favorite slash staple for me and it is the vive cosmetics bronzing duo i have mine in the shade medium one and medium two i freaking love this it's soft the compact is beautiful i love the black and gold um i love the shades i love that you get just neutral shades you have a lighter and a dark i just mm, i just don't even really have words for this all i can say is i freaking love this it blends so seamlessly onto the skin i just think it is so gorgeous cannot stop reaching for this and i haven't had this for a lot that i have not had this for that long but i it's there's no question about it like this is my number two like 
I just only want to use this. And then coming in at number one, it had to be my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I have mine in the shade two. When you talk about buildable bronzer, this is like what I'm talking about. So buildable. It really does have that like airbrush Charlotte Tilbury finish in that it kind of just like blurs your skin where you bronze. And it's just stunning. Like it's so light, not heavy, just it like honestly looks like you went tanning before work and you just, mm, I just love this. I can't say enough good things about this. I feel like I talk about this all the time, so I don't want to drone on, but hands down, this had to be my number one bronzer in my collection. So that is going to wrap it up for today's ranking video. Would love to know in the comments, what are some of your favorite or least favorite bronzers, as well as I would love to know, what do you want to see me rank next? Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go have some more wine and uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.